Hello, this is Jen from Newton's Nook Designs, and today I'm going to give you a close-up look at our brand new August release. Now this month we have a great new collection of both Halloween and autumn products. So if you like crafting for fall or crafting for Halloween, you're sure to find something you like because there's all kinds of fun new things. We even have three new paper pads this month, so that's very exciting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each stamp set, or each new product rather, um, and show you that, and then I'm going to show you what I have created using that product. We're going to start with Halloween, and let's start with the papers. So this time we have Halloween Meows and Halloween Wolves. So each of these, they're a similar color palette, but this one is focused on cats and this one is focused on dogs. So on the cat paper, we have Newton and all his various costumes. Uh, Witchy Newton in the boot. And then some basic um, Halloween prints, spiders and things like that fill in. Um, here he is with some pumpkins and a crow, jack-o'-lanterns. There's a kitty popping out of a jack-o'-lantern. This one's from Trick or Treat Kittens. If you have that stamp set, this is the same image from that where the kitty is popping out of the bag filled with treats. And we have Count Newton, which was a, a stamp set we designed last year. And Witchy Newton here. I think this is um, so cute with Newton in the broom and Newton dressed as a bat. Of course, like, eyeballs and spider webs, all kinds of cute but spooky but cute Halloween things. Of course we had love candy at Halloween, right? And then there's two of each pattern. And then of course, don't forget there's patterns on the back sides as well. So you have a little bit more basic prints on the back side. So it's really fun to mix and match all of those. And you get two each of 12 double-sided designs in both of these packs, you get 24 sheets total. So for the dogs, we have a cute little puppy with a pumpkin and one wearing a little pumpkin hat. This cute uh, dog dressed as a witch and then another one dressed in a pumpkin costume ready to trick or treat. Of course, more candy. A puppy poking out of a pumpkin. Uh, dogs dressed in ghost costumes. That's one of my favorites. I love that one. Uh, and of course, you know, interspersed are the basic patterns. Some bats there. We've got skulls. Um, here we've got some puppies with jack-o'-lanterns. Um, oh, those two are stuck together. And that's more jack-o'-lanterns. And a pug popping out of a pumpkin. So you can see it, this is just filled with fun patterns. And again, double sided. You get um, 24 sheets, and there's 12. Oh, we missed that one. <laughs> the dachshunds in their Halloween costumes. So, so much fun in both of those. So, those are just going to be loads of fun to add to your Halloween projects. So I will show you a couple of cards I created with those. With the Halloween Meows, I created this fun card here. I chose three different papers from the pack. This one with the kitties and all their costumes and the trick-or-treating kitties uh, with a bag of candy. And then the spider web to kind of break up the patterns. Um, and then I framed this with um, a black panel that was die cut using our framework die set. And then I added this Happy Halloween sentiment. Now that's from our brand new Spiderweb Oval stamp set, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And then that's uh, stamped onto a banner that is from our A7 Frames and Banners stamp set. So super cute. I love the kitties and all those costumes. They're so much fun. Then for the dogs, I created this fun card here where I took four prints and then I folded the corner down so you could see both sides of the pattern. And I thought that was a really fun way to showcase patterns um, on a card since you have so many fun patterns on the papers. So here we have the ones with the puppies and the pumpkins, the ghost puppies. Here's another one with puppies and pumpkins and then 
the witch one. That one got, his face got covered up a little bit, but it's still fun. Um, and then for the center, this is from our, actually, the sentiment says Happy Halloween, and it's from our Happy Halloween stamp set. And then I stamped that on a circle and just put that in the center. So two really quick, easy cards. Um, all you need to do is add a sentiment and you have a Halloween card that's ready to go using the paper pads. So that's a fun way to use those, dogs and cats. So buy your favorite or if you like both, make sure you can use both and you can mix and match them since the color palettes are the same on both paper pads. Um, next we have Franken Newton. Let me grab him. So this set Last year we had Newton uh, dressed as a vampire on the Count Newton stamp set. And this year we decided Newton wants to be Frankenstein for Halloween. So here's the stamp set called Franken Newton. So we've got him dressed as Frankenstein um, in two positions. Here's a straight on and then here's one where he's kind of being silly and running off to the side. And then we have the Bride of Frankenstein, of course, too. So you compare them together. And then for sentiments, we have, frankly, you're the best, made for each other, which is perfect for pairing the two, the bride and the Frankenstein together. Um, you keep me in stitches, you're electrifying, and of course, a happy Halloween. And this is like a cute little burst of light that you could add around the ele your electrifying if you wanted or wherever you think it works on your card. And then we have a cute couple of cute little... Um, beakers or vials for chemistry type cards and a little brain and a little lightning bolt and a little stitched heart. So just a lot of fun things that you can mix and match together for the Frankenstein theme. And then there is a coordinating die set available for that as well, uh, sold separately if you do like to use the die sets. Let me show you what I created with that. So I created two cards with that. The first one, I used the couple, so I did Frankenstein and his bride, and I colored the kitties in green, which was actually really fun to do. I've never colored a green kitty before, so I had fun doing that. And then I kept the rest of the colors pretty simple, used um, purple and green and yellow, and then I just randomly stamped all the little the lightning bolts and the uh, chemistry items on the background and the little brains, and just did a really light um, watercoloring over them in that color palette. And this is cut out using the framework die set again. And then this vellum piece, and when I do a really bright pattern background like that, I always like to kind of diffuse it with a piece of vellum. Um, so that kind of gives you a little bit more focus to your main image and kind of dulls the pattern a little bit. And then I put the two Frankensteins on top of that with a lightning bolt above them and the you're electrifying. And you can see here where I use those little bursts of edges around the sentiment. And this was put onto a banner that was cut out using our banner trio die set. I just made it a little bit longer. So that was a really fun card to make. Then I did one with just the other image of him dressed as Frankenstein just kind of being silly. And for this one, I kept it really simple. I did a little watercoloring on a piece of Bristol paper, just kind of a burst of green, put the sentiment above that, added a few little black sprinkles. And then along the bottom, I used the spider webs and green stripe uh, from the Halloween Meows paper pad. So that's a really simple card, but super cute. And it would definitely make someone smile, I think, especially if they like Frankenstein and cats, or both. So those are some fun things you can create using our new Franken-Newton stamp set. Next we have our jack-o'-lantern stencil set. And that is a three-piece stencil. So we have a couple other three-piece stencils in our stencil line. There's a cupcake one, um, and so the, a candy corn one, if you like that. Um, but this time we decided it would be fun to do pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. So the first layer is simply the pumpkins. 
and you can see they each have a bit of etching so that you can line up the next layer after it's been stenciled. And the second layer is the tops of the pumpkins and again you can see the etching so once you um, ink up that part then it's easy to line up where the stems go. And then the third layer is the faces. So we have scary faces. So it makes it easy to make a three color pattern um, for your cards using the three piece stencil. Let me show you a few examples of that. So here's what it looks like when you have all three pieces together. So I did orange for the first layer, green for the stems, and then black, kind of traditional colors there for the pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and this is the same thing, but this one's on white. So it just gives it a different look between craft paper and white paper. And the great thing about this stencil is that you can use um, two, the two stencils without the faces, and then you have um, a background that works great for fall or autumn cards. So that's what I did here on these two. So I used just the first two layers and left the faces off. And so that really gives this stencil a lot of versatility because you can use it for both fall and Halloween. And then another thing you can do, and I had a lot of fun with this, was you can make just the faces as a background, which is a fun spooky background. So here I'd used like some kind of white paste and some orange paste to do that. And then you can also foil them. That creates a really fun sparkly effect for Halloween. What I love about that is when you peel off the foil, you get that extra opposite layer. And you can always use that on a card too as a background. It's really shiny, but fun. And then I had some more colors of foil, so I thought it would be fun. I did it in purple and orange, not orange, purple and green too. So I had a lot of fun making backgrounds using this three-piece stencil. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and one I'll definitely reach for any time I'm making Halloween cards. Um, here's a card then that I created with it. So I simply used um, all three layers of the stencil and then I cut the panel out so that it fit inside this green border of the rounded edge and that die cut is from our Frames and Flags die set. And then I simply added a sentiment on it and this is again from our Spiderweb oval set which I'm going to show you soon. And then this is just from again the Frames and Flags, the little black banner. So just really fun, simple, great way to make a bunch of Halloween cards that are quick and easy. Okay, next I'm going to show you our Halloween pile stamp set. And that one is a cute little pile of Halloween friends. So we've got this doggy and then a kitty on his shoulders and just a little cute crow on the top. And the doggy's got his little trick-or-treat bucket. So this would be perfect for celebrating Halloween and trick-or-treating. Um, the sentiments are, have a spooktacular Halloween and trick-or-treat yourself. And then, of course, we have a cute little bat. And then uh, that one also has a die set available. So the die set cuts out the bat and the, the image. Um, and for that, I created this fun card. So on this one, you can see how it looks when you use just the jack-o'-lantern faces in the background. So that's what I did um, on the background there. And then I used our oval frames die set to make a scene for these cute little friends. And I just used some distress inks, um, some black spatters and water to create kind of a fun texture. And then I used our um, land borders die set to make a cute little black grass bottom. And then I added the main image and the two bats and the sentiment have a spooktacular Halloween is put into a circle from our circle frames die set. So that turned out really super cute, really fun Halloween card um, that you can create using all of that. And the image on this case I colored with Copics, but you could color it in your favorite medium of choice. Um, and then last, is our spiderweb oval stamp set. 
So if you have been following us, we've been doing a few ovals this year. So this is our oval frames die set, and it has a various selection of ovals that all are different sizes from biggest to littlest. They fit on a regular sized uh, card front, and they would also fit on like a five by seven card front if you like bigger cards. And then here is the stamp set. So this one is the newest, this is our spider web oval. So you get this big oval with spider webs all along the inside. And then you get two little spiders that you could add to the spider webs if you wanted. And then you get a whole bunch of sentiments. So these are the sentiments I used on those cards I showed you earlier. Uh, the Happy Halloween, and I think I had Happy Haunting on one of them. But you can also, um, all the sentiments will fit inside this blank space of the oval, either vertically or horizontally. So you can use the card, uh, the image both ways for cards. And then we've got um, Trick or Treat, Frightful and Delightful, Happy Haunting, From Our Web to Yours, and Drop On By If You Dare. <laughs> so this would be great for doing like invitations for a Halloween party or just fun Halloween cards too. So let me show you how that looks when it's cut out. So here's how it looks cut out with that oval frames. So here I stamped it and then I cut it out with the scalloped oval. And on this one I added the little spider. And then I just added some green and black ink splatters on it for kind of a fun Halloween effect. Um, and I did the same thing in purple and black on this one. And again, you can put it on your card this way or this way. The image is designed so that it can be used either direction. Um, this one you probably would want vertically if you would stamp the spider that way, but you could always stamp him the other direction too. And it also looks really cool embossed. I embossed it in, with white on purple and black. So you can see how that would work great for cards too. And then if you want to, you can cut it out with the slightly smaller oval, which is what I did here. Uh, these two are embossed and then that one's just stamped in black with ink added. So it looks really cool that way too. And then you can always frame it with the larger scalloped oval if you use it with the smaller oval die cut, which is what I did on my card. So I'll show you what I did. Here I stamped the spiderweb oval and then I splattered it with some green and black inks to give it that fun spooky Halloween feel. And then I framed it with a black scalloped oval. And then in the background I used the spider paper from our um, Halloween Meows stamp set, or not stamp set, paper pad. That's from the Halloween Meows paper. And then I stamped the sentiment on a piece of vellum and put that in front and I used the Frightful and Delightful. So you can see how cute that looks. And that was actually a pretty easy card to create too, if you're looking to create some simple cards for Halloween. Okay, so that was all of our Halloween stuff. Um, next, I'm going to show you our autumn stuff. So let's look at the autumn paper pad first. So this is the autumn paper pad. Again, this is a paper pad with 24 sheets, uh, 12 double sided designs. So you get two of each. And this one um, doesn't have animals in it, but it has really fun fall things. So we've got um, this could be apple cider or uh, pumpkin latte. We've got leaves, pumpkins. This one has gourds and pumpkins, sunflowers, more leaves, pumpkin pie, plaids, more leaves, another plaid, tiny pumpkins. And then we're back to the first one. And then of course, the other side is a little more basic prints, some um, tone on tone leaves, a few more plaids, this fun little dot pattern, and this um, ging gingham chuck kind of pattern. So these are really fun patterns to use for all your Halloween card or Halloween fall cards. So I created this card using a variety of the patterns, 
and I picked the, my, a few selection of my favorite patterns and cut them in strips and then just put them across this card with some adhesive and then I just trimmed the edges to the edge of the card and then I added the Hello Autumn sentiment and that is from the Autumn Oval um, stamp set which I'll show you next and I put that inside an oval that was die cut using our oval frames. And then I added some leaves around it. Um, the leaves are from our autumn leaves die set, um, which we released a couple of years ago, um, but it's a really fun add on for autumn cards. So that's what I created using the autumn paper pad. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the autumn oval stamp set. So again, this is another one that will fit inside the oval frames die. So the, this large oval here will fit inside the scalloped oval or this smaller stitched oval. And this one is a big oval and it's filled with pumpkins and leaves along the edge. So super pretty oval. Again, you can use it either direction. It's designed so it works any orientation. And again, all of these sentiments will fit inside it horizontally or vertically. And we have Hello Autumn, Happy Pumpkin Everything for those that love their pumpkin spice. And we also have Pumpkin is the Spice of Life, Happy Fall, You're the Pick of the Patch, which goes great with the pumpkin theme, and a thank you, thank you for you. So a really fun set with a few different purposes for that one. You can do just a hello, a fall thank you, um, or, you know, just send a fun card to someone who likes pumpkin spice or who likes fall. So let me show you how this one works. Really similar to the last one. So here's what it looks like when it's um, die cut out using that scalloped oval from the oval frames die set. This one I didn't color yet, but you can see how it fits in there and how pretty that is. Um, and then if you wanted to use it with this next smallest oval, here's what that looks like. This one I did watercolor. And you can see, it, even though it cuts off a little bit of the image, it's just enough that it still looks really pretty. And then you can frame it with the scalloped oval in a solid color, or you could cut this one out of, a, of one of the subtle patterns. That would be pretty too. Um, and then if you want, you can always frame it with the largest oval too. And again, it's designed so that it can be used either direction. I'll show you a card. So for this one, I actually made a five by seven card um, just to show you that it looks great on a larger size as well. The spider web one was on the regular um, four and a quarter by five and a half card, but this is a bigger five by seven card. And then this edge here is a panel that was die cut using our A7 frames and banners die set. So that one has this kind of fun big um, edge that fits on a five by seven card. And then here I did die cut this same oval and this time I used the pattern paper with the dots from the autumn paper pad. And then I used the scalloped edged oval um, from the oval frames die set with the stamp and I did happy pumpkin everything and this one I just kind of watercolored uh, all of the pumpkins and leaves and <laughs> I thought it was fun to do some little blue pumpkins along with the yellow and orange ones and then this background um, with the leaves is from our falling leaves stencil if you like that and that one's been around for a couple of years but it's super popular and I love using it it just creates such a fun little leafy texture that kind of fades in from leaves go from big to small. So that is what I created using the autumn oval stamp set. We got a couple more items left. Um, next is Harvest Hall. This one features a cute little pickup with a whole bunch of stuff in the back. Um, we've got this is more like a vintage truck, I guess. And then we have some, a bucket of apples, some pumpkins and some wheat, um, and a blanket that's checkered with stripes. And this is perfect for creating a fun fall card. The sentiment says, may the colors of fall bring you a harvest of joy. 
and then it has two little leaves too. So it's just a really fun fall image. You can make the truck in any color um, and you can add fun fall colors to these items and then you just have a beautiful fall card. There's a die set available that has a die that cuts out the truck and the two leaves if you wish to do that. Here's what I created with that. Just a really simple card. I created um, my watercolor I stamped this on watercolor paper and I colored the image. I made the truck kind of a tealy blue color. Um, and then I did the pumpkins and the apples and the blanket with brown and yellow. So just kind of fun fall colors. Um, and then I mount, put the sentiment on the top of it, and there's a little bit of yellow behind it. And this is um, a die cut that is from our framework die set. So it has that postage edge first, and then it has this cute little scalloped frame. And then this paper in the background is from our autumn paper pad. And then I just glued a cute little bow on top. So that was a pretty simple card too. The hardest part was coloring the image, which if you like to color like I do, it's kind of a fun, relaxing thing to do. And then the card itself was really simple to make. And then we have one last set. And of course this one features Newton. Um, we have to have another one with Newton for fall. And this one is called Newton's Crate. So this time Newton is on this cute little crate and he's hanging out with these pumpkins in here. And the, I left the front of the crate blank. And then all of these sentiments will fit on it. So you can customize what you want your card to say. So we have Paw Autumn Greetings. Falling for you. Happy Fall. Wishing you perfect fall days. And it's feline like fall. So a lot of them have kind of a, a funny cat pun that goes with them, but they're also perfect for fall. Um, and then we have a cute little leaf if you want to put some leaves in the background or around the crate. Um, and so, yeah, it's really fun uh, set that you can use for fall to customize what kind of card you want. And again, this one has a die set available that cuts out the crate and the little leaf. And what did I create with that? I made this card. I use the It's Feline Like Fall, so you can see how cute it looks when you put the sentiment on the front of the crate. And in this case, I watercolored the image. Um, I made the pumpkins orange and the kitty gray, and I just had a lot of fun coloring that image. And then I mounted him on a circle from our Circle Frames die set. And the background is using the jack-o'-lanterns, like I mentioned before, but Instead of using all three layers, if you just use layers one and two, you get a fun fall pumpkin background. And that's what I did here. And this panel is cut out again with our framework die set. So that is all the cards and products that we have for August. Let me just walk you through them again so you can get a good look at all the fun things you can create. So here's all the fall cards, so fun. And then for Halloween, we have our one with the jack-o'-lantern, spooktacular. I really think that jack-o'-lantern stencil is gonna be a favorite because there's so many things you can do with it. And the autumn or the oval stamps are so fun too because you can do so many shapes and sizes of cards with them. Don't forget our awesome paper pads, dogs and cats, and of course, Frank and Newton. So there is all of the fun stuff that we have that's brand new for fall and for Halloween. Um, and everything is available now in our shop. You should find it right away when you go to the homepage. Um, it's under new. Um, otherwise, feel free to look through our um, Halloween and fall categories and you're going to find a whole bunch of stuff um, that you might like in addition to this. Like a lot of these little kitties and costumes were based off of other stamp sets and the same with the doggies. Um, and there's lots of cool stencils uh, for fall too. So there's 
a ton of fun stuff you can find in our shop at newtonsnookdesigns.com. So thank you for hanging out with me today and going through all the new products. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about anything or if there's anything you want to see in the future. And make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, hit the bell so you can get notified when we have new content. And I hope that you get a chance to go shopping and find some of your favorite fall and Halloween products to create with. I can't wait to see what you create. And I hope you have a fabulous fall and Halloween too. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.